Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerviews.com. All right, tonight from Duclaw Brewing Company, uh, we've re reviewed several of their beers recently. This one is brand new on the shelf, 2017. Um, this is called Never Tell Me the Odds. It's a double IPA with Citra and Mosaic hops. Uh, <clears throat> again, Duclaw for, for me, um, it's what I call kind of hit or miss. Um, this is a four pack. I think I paid, it was like, close to $15 for the four pack. ABVs are 8%. Uh, IBUs are 50. So a double IPA at 50, it's kind of odd, uh, a little low. Um, it says the odds of successfully navigating the galaxy of juicy double IPAs is, a, is approximately, <laughs> this is pretty, <coughs> excuse me, approximately 3,720 to one. That's pretty funny actually. I don't know where they got that number, but it's gotta be at least that at this point in the craft beer market. Luckily this one is made to the right Band of rebellious heroes who can deliver their list blend of tropical, tropical and citrus, citrus hot flavors you've been searching for in this universe. Um, this 16 ounce can will make a refreshing run of your taste buds in less than 12 par seconds. I don't know what the heck that is, but anyway. Um, but again, double IPA, uh, hazy golden color is what they're saying. Um, price points, a little bit on the high side. But, I mean, this IPA market is getting just, in my opinion, a little bit out of control. I love craft beer. I think the mark, I'm, I'm thrilled rather that it, it is what it is at this point, but um, a lot of them are coming out and they're just not hitting the mark. So hopefully this one does, especially for the price point that we're looking at here. Um, smells good and smell it all the way from here. It smells like pine and grapefruit, which is what a double IPA typically smells like. So as you can see in the glass, this was pretty filtered, um, which is becoming less common. Uh, it's got kind of a orangish, maybe a little bit of a, a little bit of haziness to it, but not much at all. Nice carbonation, nice head on it. Um, laces the glass a little bit. Smells <laughs> like, uh, huh, this is a toughie. Not real fruity at all. I mean, there's a little bit of that grapefruit that I first got when I opened it up, but it's pretty boring. It's got kind of a weedy, almost a weedy aroma to it. A little bit of pine to it, a little bit of that herbal pepperness, kind of a earthy, kind of herbal, weird, grainy, gritty thing going on in the aroma. You can kind of smell the hops, but that, that aroma is pretty um, pathetic. That's <laughs> the only word I can come up with right now. The aroma's not that good at all, but um, as we say, cheers, let's get in the glass of what's inside better. That's different. Wow, that's really different. Yeah, so um, it's kind of boozy too for 8%. It's got kind of a little bit of an alcohol aftertaste to it. Oh boy, uh, this is another one. Um, I mean, this isn't that good. I mean, especially for the price point for a four pack at almost 15 bucks. I mean, I'd never, I would not buy this again. I mean, it's just. The aroma is almost non-existent. It's just this boring, wet, dirty, kind of earthy, weird, funky aroma. I mean, you can you can taste citra hops, definitely. The mosaic hops are pretty downplayed. It dissipates with almost nothing. There's no fruitiness to it. It's got maybe a little bit of a breadiness to it, a little bit of a kind of a, I, I don't even know how to describe it, almost like a, uh, uh, I don't know, this is not good. Um, I mean, it's got a little bit of junk floating around in there, which is fine, but I mean, it just has nothing that stands out at all that's exciting at all. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, at all. I would not buy this again. I mean, there's just nothing here. This is when I get frustrated when I do beer reviews, but this is also why I started this channel many, many years ago. I said, if you're standing at the beer store and you want to decide whether to spend $15 on never tell me the odds double IPA, my answer is don't do it. It's just, it's not exciting. There's nothing, nothing complex about it. There's nothing that stands out about it. It's just a mixed mash of very not good beer. And I mean, even the, even the aftertaste in my mouth is awful. And it's kind of like stale bread. So we'll do it again. We ran a beer for one of five. I would maybe give this a one and a half. I can't even tell you one thing that stands out that I think you know, makes it a, a decent beer. Um, and at the price point, no way in the world would I buy that again. Absolutely not. So if you've tried it and you feel differently, 
or the same, leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website. We upload all the time. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.